Hello, welcome. My name is Diana Loderhose. I'm the International Features Editor here at Deadline. We are back in our Red Sea studio here in Jeddah, and this morning I'm joined with the wonderful Farah Nebusi. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, great. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. Nice to have you here. So you are here with a film, your debut feature, The Teacher, um, which is playing, when is it playing here in the festival? Is it? Um, so the 5th, the 6th, and the 8th. Great. Eighth, yeah. Tell us a little bit about this this film, because this is quite, um, it's kind of a personal film for you, given your heritage. So maybe you can just tell us in your own words a bit about the film and what inspired you to make this story for your first feature. Um, so th the teacher is uh, about a Palestinian school teacher who is struggling to reconcile his commitment to political resistance with the chance at uh, a new romantic relationship with uh, a British volunteer worker, as well as his emotional support for one of his most promising students. Um, the teacher is played by Saleh Bakri. Um, uh, and really, it's a film for me about the love of a child, um, about the pursuit of justice, and um, self-absolution, self-forgiveness. It's also a film that has a theme um, of violence begetting violence, um, which is very pertinent to, to the current time. Um, I'm Palestinian by blood, by heritage. I was born, raised, educated in, in, in London, in the UK. Um, but during my trips, my travels to Palestine over the years, um, militarily occupied, um, colonized Palestine, I became acutely aware um, and witnessed very much a lot of the injustice that is taking place there and has been for decades. And during those travels, um, I came across a story of uh, Gilad Shalit, uh, who was an Israeli occupation soldier who was um, abducted and he was released uh, five years later for over a thousand Palestinian prisoners. Um, as well during my travels, I came across many stories and even witnessed with my own eyes uh, a lot of the cruel, inhumane things that take place in the film. Um, and you could say that the teacher is a sort of amalgamation of all these real life events, coupled with my own vivid visual verbal imagination. Um, as a filmmaker. So the inspiration is very much rooted in truth and in reality, uh, but is a, is a fiction story. Mm -hmm. You shot it in Palestine as well. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what that is experience was like for you and the cast and crew. Um, yes, we, we shot in the West Bank, um, in the Nablus area. Um, which was was very, very tough. I mean, making a film in, in independent cinema is extremely hard regardless, right? Um, and when you are shooting a sort of a, a militarily occupied area, um, things like checkpoints, you know, very frustrating, um, even roadblocks. At one point, we, um, we were supposed to have a sort of two-day weekend. It turned into four days because nobody could get back to work um, due to, to military roadblocks. Um, but for me, really, the, the, the toll was the sort of emotional, mental toll that it took on me as a filmmaker um, who, you know, is trying to shoot a film that is set in a very harsh reality. And you are shooting in that harsh reality while that reality is unfolding in real time around you. And that was very, very strenuous. So an example is that while we were shooting uh, the film, um, in a nearby village, the village of Burin, uh, illegal Israeli settlers started torching olive trees, the ol olive groves. That's something that actually takes place in the film. Mm -hmm. All right, and the, 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 the teacher, Basim al Saleh, he is from the village of Burin. I mean, when I wrote it, that's what I, you know, so it, it was a very strange um, reality for us. Um, and that had a very emotional, mental toll. It was, um, you're trying to get the film made, you're dealing with all the usual headaches, any way of making a film. 
And at the same time, you're trying to do justice to that reality that you're representing on the screen and still trying to be positive and upbeat and lead a team and, and make it to the finish line. Um, at one point, they sort of started dropping bombs in Gaza. Um, this is towards the end of 2022, August 2022, so the beginning of August 2022, just before we wrapped. And, you know, there was a, a panic as well. It was like, okay, do we leave? Do we, you know? So it, it was really very, very strenuous, to be honest, where reality was mimicking fiction and fiction was, was mimicking reality in real time. That must have been, yeah, very, sounds very, um, very intense. strange <laughs> and intense to deal with. Right. What about for your, um, I mean, you have Imogen Poots in this as well, who's, who's phenomenal, who plays the teacher, or the teacher's love interest. Um, they're incredible performances. Can you tell me about finding y your two leads and um, maybe speak to what, the, what, what their experience was, you know, what, they, what their feedback was to you about their experience of being out and shooting mm -hmm. in this area? So, so Saleh Bakri, who plays Basma Saleh, is an incredible actor, a very seasoned actor who uh, I had worked with before on my short film, The Present, um, which was also set in Palestine. Um, and, and so we've worked together. So when I actually had the idea of the teacher, uh, before I'd even written a first draft, I actually spoke to Saleh in person. I took him through verbally this, te this, this story. And he sort of was smiling and grinning. And then he goes, yeah, I love it. And I was like, yeah, you're going to be the teacher. And he was like, cool. And that was it. So when I actually started writing the draft, I really, I just had Saleh al-Bakri in mind. Um, of course, I was paranoid. Don't, 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 you know, assign an actor to, to this lead role. It might not happen. Something could, who knows, go wrong. Um, but in the end, it worked out. And so that was brilliant. So that was, you know, um, straight to the point. And, and like I said, we've worked together and, 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 you know, I think he's a brilliant actor. When it comes to I Imogen Poots, uh, we'd already got Just Casting, which is Lissy Holmes and, and Leo Davies, incredible casting directors, and um, on board for the film. And they had suggested uh, a number of lead actresses, and I had my wish list of lead actresses, and Imogen aligned. It was, it was great. We got the script the screenplay to her, she loved it, um, and then ended up on a, a wonderful sort of two-hour phone call with her, uh, or a Zoom call. And um, at the time, I was actually location scouting in Palestine, so we were having this sort of wonderful conversation, and it was just, it, it, it fit together beautifully. And Saleh and Imogen had this incredible, wonderful chemistry, both on and off screen, um, and it, it worked really well. Um, and for Imogen and all the sort of international cast who had come over, including uh, Stanley Townsend and Paul Hertzberg and Andrea Irvine, they they all expressed what actually a life-changing experience it was for them um, as actors um, in the industry, as well as just sort of human beings being able to experience a place they'd never been. Um, and they loved the hospitality. They, they, they really... We were a very t t tight knit group where we would have meals together, spend time together um, in our sort of bubble, but at the same time, there was a lot of trips and, and we went and experienced a lot together, actually. Mm -hmm. It was really nice, really nice. So, this film it premiered in Toronto earlier this year in the World Discovery section, and the lay of the land there has changed massively. Um, you know, there's um, obviously what happened on October 7th, and think. The conflict is 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 pretty brutal at the moment. So, do you worry it's going to affect the way people view the film, or how does it kind of, in your mind, change maybe what you know the messaging of of this film? How does it change things for it, do you, if if at all? Yeah, um, I mean, look, th things have been brutal for a very long time. Um, that's part of why this film resonated so much with me as a, as a person, a filmmaker who wanted to write a story about this reality. Um, now, in some ways, for a little bit, I felt like, oh, it's so closely aligned in some ways that it's like almost making a film about COVID during COVID, you know, where I was like, oh, the timing has got a little bit strange. Um, but the importance, on the contrary, of, of the film and, and what it's about um, has increased exponentially, actually. And I think that in terms of audiences, um, I think we have an even bigger interest and intrigue 
to want to, to know and understand more about that place on planet Earth. And the, the, the end of the day, the teacher is a human story. Yes, it's set in this socio-political uh, reality landscape. Um, but my focus in many ways is on the personal. Um, and in that sense, I think it can and, and hopefully will resonate that much more, actually. Um, but it has been very strange. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very strange. Um, like I said, reality mimicking fiction, fiction mimicking reality. Um, but I, I actually think that we have a, 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 a bigger interest and intrigue than ever before. And the importance has been elevated, yeah. actually. What would you say is the importance of kind of art and filmmaking and, you know, voices coming out of Palestine during this and Israel, you know, voices coming out of this region at this this horrific time, how important is it for art and filmmaking to continue to push forward? I think I think it's hugely important um, in, in times of crisis and, and, and in what one might call quieter times. But um, I think that that art ultimately is it, it speaks to the heart and um, and I think that stories ultimately are, are, are so important, human stories more than anything. And one of those powerful means or mediums of art is cinema. And to me, cinema is probably the most powerful form of, of human communication the world has ever known and has the power to sort of transcend borders and overcome stereotypes. and. Um, really elevate the, call it the, the, the conscience and consciousness of, of, of the globe, of, of the world. So for me, uh, I, I think it really is invaluable. That said, in moments as raw and as painful, and I mean really I don't have the words to describe the tragedy that is taking place on the ground right now in Gaza, there is a time to, um, to reflect by engaging in art and, 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 and connecting in that sense. But there's also a time to be more practical and pragmatic and active and actually do things and actions that can bring this to an end. And uh, I think it's incredibly important to do both. Um, it, it, it's, it's one thing to inform and, and people to connect, um, but really, ultimately, what you need is, is, is action. And art is a beautiful conduit to garner that action as well. So this is a, it's an interesting um, dynamic a, in a moment like this. Um, but stories can change the world, so, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. We wish you all the best for the film and Thank enjoy you. your time here at the Red Sea Film Festival. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.